Hi, Simon from African Drumming here. Uh, here today to profile some of our new Master Series djembes from across the region of West Africa. Uh, we've got several distinct djembes here and a Bugarabu as well to road test. Let's start off with this Kadi djembe from Guinea in West Africa. Kadi is, as you probably know, one of the densest timbers to come out of that region. Produces very bright sounds. This is a sort of classically shaped um, Guinea djembe. Well balanced, medium sort of size, and uh, let's give it a bit of a play. So you can see that the sounds are very bright, good bass. The Cuddy produces those really high pitched, lovely sounds. Moving on to this huge Guinea djembe, Lenge. The spiritual wood of West Africa, 14 or so um, inches in diameter, slightly thinner skin than the previous djembe, uh, and a contemporary sort of design to it. So it's got a big, deep bowl producing big, deep resonant sounds. Here we go. So you can see that extra sustain you get out of the larger head size. This is a lovely little hardwood drum from the border of Ivory Coast and uh, Burkina Faso in a region called the Bunfra. It's a cutty djembe, it's a nice medium size, and you'll see that the earthiness comes through in the tones and, uh, and the bass as well. Now we have this beautiful Mali djembe, traditional goblet shape. Uh, a long pipe on it at the bottom there that sort of splays outwards, gives a really good bass resonance. Thicker skin, beautiful tiger grain. Let's have a listen. And finally, this Bugarabu from Bunfra region. Uh, in West Africa, near the border of Burkina Faso and Ivory Coast. Lenge drum, it has an African cow skin on it, so a distinctly different sound comes off the cow compared to the goat of the djembe, and you'll see the warmth and the bass and the deep sort of sounds you get from it, how different it is. In summary, the different regions of West Africa support different carvers, different sizes and shapes, and ultimately characters to the various drums that come out of the region. When you add the skin to it, whether it be an African skin, an Australian skin, a goat or a cow, you add another new flavour to the djembe or the bugarabu. Lots to choose from, lots of beautiful hours of playing to be had.